welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Amanda. I'm going to be doing another review on another type of highlighting palettes. Now these are the collaborations with Smashbox with Casey Holmes. She did come out with two palettes, which I think is fantastic. I do have both of them. I originally just wanted the pearl one, but then I could only get my hands on the gold one, and I did want both of them. I can't wear the gold right now just because I'm a little too fair, but during the summertime when I have a tan, I will be able to wear the gold one. But I really just wanted to get both of them just to support Casey. I absolutely love her and her channel. I've watched her for so many years. So I definitely had to get it. And especially it was highlighting palettes. Hello. I'm on the her highlighters. Okay. So I did get both of them. This is what the packaging, like the box packaging looks like. And they are the exact same names. It's just one is a pearl and one is a gold. So the pearl is for lighter skin tones. The gold is for medium to deeper skin tones and they both like they each have the same three names it's just they have pearl or gold underneath it so you have turn it on crank it up and blow a fuse each one of those goes like that except for it's called turn it on pearl and turn it on gold so the same names just have pearl or gold underneath them so these are the actual palettes themselves the pearl one is a little bit lighter than the gold one of course because it's a little bit lighter but they do have little like hollywood spotlights on them like this almost like a vintagey hollywood looking type of graphic um this is like that kind of like bubbly top over it um that if you was to put both of these like the two bubble tops together and then pull it apart did you hear that it's just there like that plasticky bubble that way if you do put like another product it is going to stick to it but not like it's going to come off or ruin anything that's just you know the type of material that it is i do like that they are travel friendly they're very compact then again it does come with three shades once you open it you do get a mirror like again travel friendly then you have the three shades which go from lighter pigmentation to intense pigmentation. Now I've seen some people complain about the last like the third shade in each palette saying you know it's different consistency than the other two and it is. It's supposed to be because this last shade the blow a fuse one is supposed to be glittery for like you know an intense like night out or something like if you really want to intensify like your highlighter so a lot of people were complaining and saying that the consistency wasn't the same what well, we're saying that it's very inconsistent blah 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 no it's supposed to be a different like different formula because it's a different type of pigmentation but i did forget to mention they are 35 dollars each which i think for like you know the pan size and three of them that's not a bad um little deal especially if you're paying like 30 40 dollars for one single highlighter that's a pretty good deal you know for three of them um both of the first two in both of them when i'm talking about them i'm talking about both of them because they are the exact same formula in both of them just different shades the first two right here are the same creamy smooth formula and then this next one you know it is smooth but it's a little bit more gritty just because it has those fine chunks of glitter in it now these are available now at sephora in stores online macy's um and they will be at ulta march 30th and then there'll be other places in april may june i'll leave casey's video link down below because in her description box she says where it's going to be available like in other countries she lists it down in her description box I'll just leave that down below so you can just figure out when it's going to be available for you so now starting with the pearl palette this first one the turn it on is a, an everyday white champagne shade it is you know very what is it like not metallic it's basically like your everyday sheen you can see right there like it is it, they are pigmented it's just it's not like boom in your face blind you highlight it's your everyday that's what i do like about this though is that you have an everyday shade a more blinding shade you can mix the two together to create a blinding shade just a different color and then again this glittery top coat if you want to really intensify your highlight so again this second one over here the crank it up is more metallic champagne rosy gold And then this last one is like a glittery light pink, but like a 
like silver like glitter flakes to it. This last glittery one is a little bit more pink than this middle one. But this one is absolutely beautiful for fair to medium skin tones. And then we'll move on to the gold one. Again, same concept. You have an everyday shade, a more metallic shade, and a glitter shade. This everyday shade is just your like everyday light gold. It's this one down here. Hopefully you can see that. But I will be able to wear this one right now. It's just this middle shade I won't be able to. Now this middle one to crank it up is a warm metallic like coppery gold. This is going to be absolutely stunning on deeper skin tones. You can definitely see that one now. And you can see how dark it is compared to my skin tone. So that one's something I might be able to wear in the summer, but not much. Now I did find that in this gold shade, the glittery, like the last one, isn't exactly the same as a pearl one. Like it's a little bit more, like you get a little bit more fallout. Hopefully you can see that around the pan. But it's like the base color isn't completely there. Like in the pearl one, when you're swatching it and putting it, in, putting it down, you can see the actual base color and the glitter in it. This one, the base color is, you know, like not completely there and you're getting, you know, you're getting that base color, but you're getting more like glitter in it. So it's not as pigmented in my opinion. I don't know if that's just my palette, but again, it is just that chalk coat to go over it. So I'm not really, you know, complaining about that. But now I'm going to swatch them on my face now that I've already swatched them on my hand. But um, I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques setting brush. This is my absolute favorite brush for highlighting. It just picks up the product so well. I'm going to go in with Pearl just because this is the one that matches my skin tone the best. I'm going to go in with Turn It On. Now this one again is that natural everyday one. As you can see it is still pretty, pretty pigmented. So we're going to, and you can build these up. I'm going to go in with that middle shade that crank it up right there. I'm going to put this on the outer half. Ooh. And I'm just going to, actually I'm just going to put it on my thing. Oh my gosh. I hope that you all can see how intensely pigmented that is. Oh my lord. So that one might be a little too dark for me. Not much, but just a little. Then we're going to go in with that. I'm going to turn it on the other side and go in with that last like blow fuse and put it on this outer part. I really hope that you all can see that. Honestly, I think Casey did an amazing job with these, especially where she came out with two palettes. I love that there's two different ones. That way, if you want to get both of them for your skin tone, you can but there is a palette for everybody so i absolutely love that the, the versatility that the, all the shades give and especially but where it has like a natural to intense because some people don't like an intense blinding highlight and then some people don't like a natural so that's what i love again about the versatility of these shades is that you can have an everyday shade a more intense shade and an even more intense shade so i absolutely love the fact that there's a shade for everybody as well as an intensity for everybody. So I really hope that you all enjoyed this video and that this helped you out if you were thinking about getting them or which one that you should get. Or if you've not heard about them, then now you have. Or if you've not heard of Casey, definitely check her out. I don't know what you're doing. Check her out. She's literally one of my fave YouTubers, like top. Like her and Jacqueline here are like my top two fave YouTubers. Love them. Love them. So yeah, definitely check out these palettes. Go swatch them if you're thinking about it. Go swatch them, see for yourself. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that little bell for notifications. Check out my other videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone.